All right, Pudge, there's three cardinal rules here at Culver. No booze, no sex, and no cigarettes. If the eagle catches you, you're out of here. The eagle? Code name for the dean of students. Want to smoke? Is it safe here? <laughs> Who cares? <coughs> <coughs> smoke much? If my parents find out, they'll kill me. I know you're exaggerating, but you're going to get in trouble. 99% of the time, your parents don't have to know. The school doesn't want your parents to think you became a screw-up here just as much as you don't want your parents to think you became a screw-up here. If you get in trouble, just don't tell anyone. I hate those rich bastards almost as much as I hate my father, but that doesn't mean I would rat them out. Pudge. Pudge, look at me. The most important thing at Culver Creek is to never, ever rat. You hear me? You paying attention? Uh, yeah. Got it. You gotta stop thinking about Alaska, dude. What? Alright, it's come the point in the evening where I gotta go find my girlfriend. Give me some of those cigarettes you're never gonna smoke, and I'll see you later. Oh, hey, Alaska. Just missed them. Oh. So, do you really memorize last words? Uh, yeah. Well, why? I think a lot of times people die the way they lived. So final words can tell you a lot about a person. Wanna quiz me? JFK. That's obvious. Oh, is it now? No, those are his last words. Someone said, Mr. President, you can't say Dallas doesn't love you. And he said, that's obvious. And he was shot. <laughs> wow, that's so awful. All right, Mr. Famous Last Words Boy, I have a couple for you. The General and his library. One of my absolute favorite books, and about Simone Bolivar. Do you want to know what his last words are? Well, I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> he, that's Simone Bolivar, was shaken by the overwhelming revelation that the headlong race between his misfortunes and his dreams was at that moment reaching the finish line. The rest was darkness. Damn it, he sighed. How will I ever get out of this labyrinth? So what's the labyrinth? Well, that's a mystery, isn't it? Is the labyrinth of living or dying? But is he trying to escape? The world? Or the end of it? Hmm, I'm not really sure. So have you really read all those books in your room? God, no. I've read maybe like a third of them. But I'm going to read them one day. But there's just so much to do. Cigarettes to smoke, sex to have. Makes a zip by. Yeah. I'll read when I'm old and boring. You know, you kind of run me the colonel when he first came to Culver. How so? Well, we were both freshmen together, both scholarship kids, and we both had an interest in blues and mischief. Now, the colonel was smart, but he hadn't done much living. I changed that pretty quick. I got him his first girlfriend, and we pulled up his from Marbles rolling all over the walls. You're smart looking. Quieter, though. And cuter. But I didn't even just say that because I love my boyfriend. Yeah, you're not too bad yourself, but I didn't just say that because I love my girlfriend. Oh wait, I don't have one. Don't worry, Budge. If there's one thing I can get you, it's a girlfriend. Let's make a deal. You figure out what the labyrinth is, and how to get out of it, and I'll get you laid. Deal. Hey Pudge, when you're walking at night, do you ever get kind of creeped out by the darkness and 
Even though it's dumb and embarrassing, you just want to run home? Yeah, actually. Run.